is about radiocarbon data. In this case, um, in this, I'm going to present a tool. A tool is pretty much a Google-like uh, system just with radiocarbon. So, some slides, I pass it a, a little quicker. If someone, maybe, yeah, I know that it's not quite normal. If someone has a question or something, so raise your hand and say, hey, Miguel, I don't understand something. And we can talk about this. He's gonna, he's gonna look after me then. But in a city, everybody knows what radiocarbon is, I suppose, which is a, a way to date a piece, a piece of organic material. The first problem, when you get a radiocarbon date, there is some categories of information, the lab number, the, the deviation, calibration, but there is missing context information and there is missing temporal, spatial. So this is the first problem. When you get the carbon data, you have nothing more than the lab and two or three categories, and a lot of them are completely missing. And we have is one of the tasks we have to, to resolve or to work with in the future. Second problem. <coughs> Where are data stored? Mainly they are dispersed. And there is an identity of format. Everybody has his own database, everybody keep it in his own format, and everybody keep it in his, in his own website or everything. So there's no common, there's no common agreements, there's no way to share data. And of course, if you want to make uh, a record or something grouping for your carbon data, dates, you have a big problem indeed. So our proposal may be this. If there are, sorry, this means in computer science, this means a database. Some people say, what the heck is that? Don't say, okay, that means a, a database. The problem I have, a uh, spread database, how can we join it? That's the main problem. So as we are in the beginning, we have created a Google-like tool. If you think in terms of Google, it will be easy for you to understand. We had at the very beginning, we have the idea of inter interoperativity schema. That means people who have websites put some information in a common, in a common format in order to get it. We change it. We change it because this approach means everybody has to make changes to create to hear or hear database. This approach is I'm repeating, I know that, a Google like. So we go to get the information and then we put it in a, in a tool. <coughs> Little insights about how a search engine works. It has mainly three parts. One of them, called mainly crawler, spider, and this kind of thing, have, uh, they carry in the task to go to the databases and get the information. The second element is, okay, I crowd, <laughs> I have the data and I have to put in some way in a database. And the third one is what computer science says, the user interface. So we are the users, we talk with a web server, with a, with a web page, and the web page is to talk with the database. It's mainly how every search engine works. As I told you, Google works like this. And most of the genes do exactly the same. Okay, <coughs> don't read really this. Don't even try it. Mainly, the idea is collect the information in this spread and we get just basic radiocarbon information not the complete information that is in the database. If we, do that, if we try to do that, we have a copy of information. We have a lot of format and not the same information. Okay. This word appears quite a lot. 
the database has information, but the search engine are very slow, so we need to index that. An index is uh, like a book that you have the list of chapters, so in computer science an index means a list or the red list of things that are inside the database in order to make it to work more quickly. Told you, just basic radiocarbon information. At this moment, we have downloaded 27 radiocarbon databases and we have indexed at this moment 30 these ones. So we are, at, we, we are quite near to uh, 200,000 days at this moment. As told you, uh, it's like a hunter-gatherer approach. Some, we say spiders, say it as, as you like. Some programs go to, the, go to the websites and get the information and give it to the system that, that indexes it. And we have, uh, we have go to main, uh, the Canadian Radio Carbon Data, I suppose that you know this, and most probably you know, you don't know this one because there are new unit dates inside. As we have crowded a lot of them and we have contact with a lot of people, there are dates we are, uh, we are not in any other place than here. And the, the indexer is ready to, to index and to get any database that you have, even if you don't have it in, in internet. Once again, what categories of dates we are interested in? There are a lot of categories of information, so depending on the website that we are gathering, we have to uh, match to make a, a match from the information we get to these categories. Of course, you will see. So, sorry for the, I'm talking. In, in 30 seconds, we will practice it. And we even have prepared uh, new fields in order to, uh, to have here the context information and all of the things that I say at the beginning, there are not in the radiocarbon date. So the coding, the coding is a lot of lines of, of code. I don't know if you like coding, I suppose that you don't. But this is made. It has to be made for every database. It's, only, it's the only part of the system which has to be made for every uh, database. And at the end, there are a lot of lines of code. Of code. It's transparent to you, you don't see it. But okay, if, you, if you send me a mail saying, Miguel, I want to, to my dates to be, to be a blow up and, are, and they are in this website, we prepare this a small program in Python, we see it in, in a moment. And we get the information without doing you anything. The idea is you have the database and you don't have to do anything. We directly get it. Get it. Okay, then we put it in the database, which is also a lot, a lot of lines to scope for the user interface. Again, I suppose we don't, you don't like coding. We had the problem of duplicate dates, or replication dates. We take advantage of the situation, and as we have at this moment nearly 200,000 dates, to see how many are duplicated. We find that the first is the interesting value. About 34% 30, of dates are duplicated and appear more than once. So, at this moment, all this data is inside the database. One of the things that I'm going to tell you how to do in the next is how to intelligently filter this data. But if you are going to see that there are duplicate data. Okay, uh, as I told you, there is a web environment. We are not to use it in a moment, in order to make the questions and to get the results <coughs> directly in your computers. I show you. This sounds kind of a mess. 
So that's a fun part because we are going to play with the, with the database. You said that. <coughs> Let's see if it's true. If anyone wants to follow me and have the computer, it's up to you. On a, on a site which is called La Draga in Spain. I just type here Draga and okay, I get all the dates that speak about the site La Draga. Only 10 <laughs> records. And okay, like Google. Like Google, think it like Google. And you have uh, a key. And you have here all the dates. What's here? The database where the information is gathered. You have a small trickies. With this here, the number of repetitions, we have to improve it, but you have here the number of repetitions of the date. And you have here the internal record we have made. But if I click in any one, I, I don't see, maybe I've been, if I click on any one, yes, comporta. It's not working. Okay. This is this is the full information that Radon have about this day. The search engine doesn't keep all the information. That's what I say basic predictable information. When you ask for some information, at the end, in two steps, you go to the original one. Let me try it. I'm, I'm good in time now. Yeah, you have a few more minutes. Huh? A few more minutes, five. Okay, perfect. Let's try another thing. Let's say I'm looking for uh, human bones. have 509 results and I tell, I tell the system that <coughs> give me all the dates that have both words, human and bones. That's why I just get 509 results. Again, sorry for saying, like Google, like, and then you, you have a pagination system, right? Here at the bottom. And if you get, you will see now an example. If you get something like uh, 30,000 30, results, as Google says, please refine your search. 30,000 records is useless at all. So, next example, I need, I need the sheet sheet. Let me try the same. Let me try exactly the same by changing the operator. So that is. Uh, instead of saying to go get a one that all words, both words, 
in any date, I want that appears any word. That means go get, give me the dates that have or human or both or both. <coughs> so if it works for your finger, you have to get more results than this. Right? 9,000. Right. Yes. Now you have a lot more. <coughs> so again, like Google, refine your search. This is a lot of information. <coughs> Finally, uh, you have here some basic, basic operators in the world, as a date that contains the text that you write here, or a date that contains exactly the text you put here. Operators. If you are interested in operators, just look for here, the help. There is a lot of operators to work with, to refine your search. I'm just give you a little example, otherwise we, we will be like two hours working with this. In the help there is a, an explanation. Let's suppose Let's suppose I'm looking for uh, dates that have the word bone, but don't have the word charcoal. That's plenty of time. Thank you. Uh, then I type the plus in, where the plus in is. Ah, here. I said I want the word bone have to appear and the word charcoal char doesn't appear. That's a small example of the operator. So you can put any words you want. Close your finger at this point. And okay, I get 24. 24,000. 24,000 date have the word bone inside and don't have the word charcoal. It's like more or less the bunch of heads that there is in, in Google. So I'm getting out of time, but don't worry. Again, a quick glance to the bunch of search. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. It's in construction, so we want to make it bigger. But this is functional. At this moment, it is working. So let's say, for instance, that I'm looking. I want to know what day do I have of the laboratory OXA. OXA. So I type here for OXA dates. And I want that contains. And from which range of time? Mainly all. Get it? It takes 10, about 10, 15, 15, minutes, 15 seconds to do it, that. But it's always the same idea. We want to make it bigger to put a lot of new fields to search for, to search for and make of course, refine your search. Here they are, uh, a lot of them, and that means we have 70,000 dates from this lab. Let me try it with a, without doing any trick. I don't know, let me choose this one. Cross your finger, maybe it works, maybe not, okay. There is two days with exactly same lab number. And quite curious, in the same database, in MDS, I just show one. You can find out the from Canadian, from Canadian have the 
Muy bien, ¿cuál es el ahí? Why? Why don't you say they are the same? This web address is the one that gives you the record inside ADS. And if you take a look here, the number is different. So they have the dates repeated. Okay. 10 seconds just. Little 10 seconds. What do you have in mind? What do we have in mind? You have seen this. We have, we have seen this. Mainly three technologies, PHP, Python, and my, 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 MySQL, MySQL. <coughs> and with, what do you have in mind to do? Then nothing about that at this, this moment. There are two similar databases. One is ours, the Catalan also is our, this database contains context, contains all the information related to the radiocarbon data. They are just small, just two. I'm not gonna go to this, this is the other one. And that's the main changes we have to do. It's urgent, simply urgent. And we have to do, in, I, I hope, something like one month. And we want to present the first official person in September in the EIA Congress, which is models, questions, to make theoretical questions, and not so this kind of typing. And that's our idea, and what we want to do in taxonomies and everything. The end, and I'm finished. We need you. If you have days and you want to be published in this way, contact me because <coughs> we have almost 2,000, but we can think we can go a pretty much quantity of information.